Kitchen. It's bread baking time again and today we're making French baguettes. And this recipe of French baguette is as close as you could really get to a nice authentic baguette without being it um, made in a professional bakery. Uh, because in a professional bakery you have different kinds of ovens and different uh, materials that you can use to make real authentic baguettes whereas here at home it's not that easy. Making homemade baguette is quite a challenge actually compared to other breads and uh, one reason is the oven and the other reason is having all the special ingredients and all the time you need as well so this bread is a really nice tasty and crunchy baguette uh, but also made in less amount of time than the professional stuff. Now the ingredients for a uh, baguette are really really simple. Just some white flour, um, salt and dried yeast. I'm using organic uh, white bread flour today because um, well baguette is only white flour so you should really try to get the best quality flour you can get because it won't have well, the flour won't be able to give the bread that much taste. Uh, so using a nice organic white bread flour will increase the taste or the flavor of the baguettes. Then some nice sea salt is what I'm using also today. So to, again to enhance the flavor of the baguettes. And very important is actually the yeast. We're going to be using quite a bit of yeast today. And it's really the flavor of the yeast that will come through the baguette in the end. Now, as I've mentioned already, the yeast is really important in a baguette dough. So, uh, what we're making now, the first step of making real authentic baguettes is making a sponge. Now, a sponge, when it comes to bread making, is when you mix um, lesser amounts of flour with lots more water so that it becomes like a sticky liquid batter which uh, allows the yeast and the other ingredients to really ferment well, which adds a lot of flavor to the dough especially. So what I'll be doing now is I'll add 100 grams of the white bread flour just into the bowl. I'll uh, add half a sachet of dried baker's yeast. Now if you have fresh yeast, feel free to use that. Uh, probably the taste would be better. And if you make your own yeast, you could also use that. But I just find the dried baker's yeast is really handy. So I'll add one half now and actually uh, later I'll add more yeast. Uh, so just mix it in. be about enough. Give it a quick stir. And now add the water. Now the add be careful that the water isn't too warm. It really shouldn't burn the yeast. Otherwise, you know, it won't work properly. It should be a bit more than blood temperature. Be nice and warm. Just mix it in. And as you can see, it's very, very liquid. This will really give the yeast a good chance to ferment well, to give uh, the baguette dough a real nice authentic character. And then you just cover it with a kitchen towel. And we'll let this rest for about an hour. An hour is a good time, then it'll be nice and fermented and I will show you what it looks like uh, when it looks right and when after an hour it should be all well and fermented. So it's been an hour now and we'll have a look at our sponge. And as you can see, the yeast has really done a great job. Here, you can see it's all fermented. Um, there's bubbles and it has also doubled in size. Now we'll just add the rest of the dry ingredients. So I've got 300 grams of so the rest of the white flour here. And I've also added the salt. Now I'm going to add another whole sachet of the dried baker's yeast. So all in all, it's been one and a half sachets. <laughs> Come on, Kevin. <laughs> One and a half sachets of uh, dried baker seeds, and the baguette dough really needs this boost of um, the yeast. Mix it, and then we'll put the rest in the bowl. Like so. And we'll see in a minute or two if the dough needs any more water or if it's good the way it is. It seems pretty good to me. It doesn't have to be very wet because uh, you want to be able to work this with your hands. Let's 
seems okay to me. There we go. Take this out. Now I'll just cover my hands in flour. So I'll start. I'll start working the dough now. And of course, you don't want your hands to stick. Just trying to get the rest out of here. Put some more flour on the work surface. And as you've seen in my other bread videos, um, well, there's not really any secrets to bread kneading. You just have to do it. Um, this doesn't take too long. Just maybe five minutes until uh, the dough doesn't stick anymore. And it's a nice workable bread dough. So I've been kneading the dough for five minutes now. It's really nice velvety dough. And um, I'll just shape it into a nice bowl now and put it into a bowl to rest for about half an hour to 40 minutes. It doesn't have to be that long for this stage, just so the dough doubles in size. As you see, it's a really nice flexible dough. And it smells really nice of yeast as well. It's really nice dough. So just shape it into a bowl like this. Add some flour here. Place it in your bowl. Cover it with a bit more flour and then just cover it with the kitchen towel and let it rest for half an hour to 40 minutes. So it's been about half an hour, 40 minutes, and as you can see, the dough has pretty much doubled in size. So we'll take it out, just put some flour on the work surface again, but not too much because we're going to form the dough now and so you don't want too much flour or else the dough will stick too much. And as you can see it's been really nice and it's, been, and it's really inflated. Normally we would press down into the dough and deflate it, but we don't want to do that with baguettes. We actually want to keep as much air in there as possible to form those air pockets that make it really nice. So uh, we're just going to cut it in half and this dough, so 400 grams of flour, will make two nice baguettes. I'm just going to get a knife, cut it in half. Sort of. One to the side. Okay. So I just want to tuck this in as carefully as I can. Try to make it stick. And now, before we start shaping our baguettes, we have to think and look how big is our oven or how big is your oven. Um, because depending on how big your oven is, that of course you know matters on how big your baguette is going to be. Normal baguettes or authentic baguettes are quite long, but we can't do that in our oven, they're a bit too small. So over here I can show you our baking tray, and so our baguettes will have to only have this size. Um, so I'll have to make certain that I don't uh, make our baguettes too big or else it just won't work. So I'll try to get the size right, so it's about this long. So I can only make them a bit longer. And you just want to roll them as evenly as you can. And then I often like to taper the ends, as so. And then we just put them here on a resting surface. So the two loaves are shaped, just putting a bit of flour everywhere so that it won't stick to the surface. Quite important because we're going to slide this onto our hot baking tray afterwards. Or at least I am. You could just put them on the baking tray as such, but um, I quite like the baking tray to be hot so that um, the loaves get this instant heat to make the crust really nice and crispy. And now I will just cover these. So it's been an hour now and as you can see 
Uh, the loaves have again doubled in size and I floured them already um, which gives it a more of a rustic appeal and will look nice and actually looks like the French baguette de compagne really more. that's what this baguette is really supposed to be the more rustic type of baguette so um, now I'm just gonna put some slices into the baguette be really careful normally you would take a razor for this but I don't have a razor so just try to make a few cuts Oops. that doesn't matter, the more rustic the better and now we'll take our bacon tray out put the baguettes on it and back in the oven real quick Oops. just slide it on this one is a bit quicker than the other yeah. Back into the oven at 225 for about 20 minutes and it should be done. Our baguettes are finished now, as you can see. They look really nice, lovely golden brown. They've been in the oven a bit over 20 minutes and I'll just put them on a cooling rack now. Uh, for another 20 minutes or so so they, can, so they can cool off a bit and I'll show them to you again when they're cooled off. Okay so now that the baguette is done uh, I cut a piece here and as you can see it's nice and crunchy here on the outside and it's nice and moist and airy on the inside and I'm just gonna eat it with a bit of butter and it's still nice and warm so this will be very very good. Woo! Mm-hmm. <laughs>